I always say, you want to get good at this, flirt with everyone. Right? If you just try to do something with the small percentage of women who you're attracted to, but then you do the opposite the rest of the time, you're always going to suck. It's impossible to get good if you're doing one thing 99% of the time and then only doing that thing you want to improve on the other 1% of the time. It'll never happen for you. So I always say, flirt with everyone, right? And it, not even in a way that, oh, I'm trying to get in bed with you, but just in a way that acknowledges, hey, when we're around each other, this funny, natural, God-given thing happens in our bodies. We can't control it. It's kind of silly. It's kind of funny. might be a little weird, but it's enjoyable, right? Waitresses. I've gotten so many freebies just from flirting with the waitress. How's your day going? Yeah? What do you recommend on this menu? Older women. Flirt with older women, man. Oh, they're the best practice in the world. Enjoy their company. Make them feel beautiful. Make them feel sexy. You're so sweet. I'm going to introduce you to my daughter, my granddaughter. <laughs> right? You look at the most charming, charismatic, sexy men, they flirt with every single woman, not just trying to do something differently when they're around someone they like. You have to practice this all the time if you want to get good, if you want to be considered a, a sexual human being. It has to be part of who you are, part of your natural communication. Right? And once again, if someone, if the waitress is like, I'm okay, sir, I'm going to go back, great, I'll have the pancakes, thank you. But if she's like, oh, you're so sweet, you better be like, you're so sweet. <laughs> How long have you been working here for? doesn't matter what you say. It's that feeling that's being exchanged between the two of you. I almost wish this was more complicated, that there was some greater secret that I was involving. It's, it's simple, but then it's not easy. Not when we've been trained by our culture to try to actively figure something out, to try to actively do something. When that's our, our standard MO, it can be tough to break away from that.